I'm DJ TLM, and this is Share the Knowledge. Today's podcast is brought to you by Banzoogle. So while I'm on the subject of passion, I want to talk about this as well. This was a question I received in the DM. And the question is, maybe a couple of days ago, I saw DJ Angelo's Insta story, and he had like every genre of music on vinyl, from hip hop to trance. Back in the days, was it necessary for a DJ to have everything in their crates? And what are your thoughts about that? Should one DJ be famous just for one genre, like hip hop, or everything? To me, it's all about following your passion. I got into DJing through hip hop. That is my main pillar, my foundation, hip hop. Turntablism, hip hop. That's where it comes from for me. Now, I like a lot more music than just hip hop. So for me, when I play, I play hip hop, I play R&B, I like soul, funk, I like dancehall, I like uh, some sorts of house, I like like UK garage stuff, I like some electro. Um, there's more. There's more. I like a, a lot more music, but for me, the main thing is definitely hip hop, hip hop, R&B. That's where it started. So you have to find out what it is for you. So let's just, for instance, let, let's take me as an example. Let's just say I did not like any other genre and I only liked hip hop. Then that's what I would do. And over the years, I've had people come up to me and tell me, yo, you need to start playing this and that because then you can get more gigs. And they were talking about types of music that I do not like. For me, again, this is all about passion. I'm going to kill my passion if I start to play all sorts of tracks that I don't like. I chose this because this is what I love and I'm not going to kill that passion just to get more gigs. I didn't start this for the gigs. Now, of course... At a certain point, you do have to become a little more business about this and treat yourself as the brand and DJing is your business. But I found different ways because I still only play the gigs I want to play, the type of music I want to play. So I don't get the same amount of gigs as some other DJs. But I found other ways that I can still use my experience and skills to do the things I love. So for instance, DJ TLM TV and this podcast, this is all about the things I love. I get to share my passion and experience, and I'd rather do this than do a gig that I don't like because I have to play stuff I don't like. And my channel has brought new opportunities to me anyway because I'm doing content for other companies as well, and that is now part of the business. So I follow my passion. If you only like one genre... You can stick to that genre. Just keep in mind that you will get less gigs if you only do that one genre. People who play all sorts of music most likely will get more gigs. So you have to find out what feels right for you. If there are certain genres out there that you don't really care for but you don't hate them either, and you know that if you add them to your repertoire, you can do more gigs, maybe that's a good thing. As long as you know if you feel that it's not killing your passion. I did a couple of gigs where I was playing tracks that I just really didn't like, company gigs. And I was like, oh, let me do it. The money was great. And once I did the gig, and once I finished the gig, it just felt so wrong. And that was the first time that after a gig, I didn't feel good. And that feeling really scared me. I was like, yo, I just did a DJ gig, and I didn't like it. That was a shock to me. So I did not want to have that feeling again. So for me, passion all the way. Find out what works for you, what you like to do, and do that. Banzoogle makes it easy to build a stunning website for your music in minutes. You can choose from hundreds of mobile-friendly themes and then customize your design and content in a few clicks with Banzoogle's easy visual editor. Now, all the features you need for a professional website are already built in, including tools to sell your music and merch commission-free, mailing list tools to grow your fan list and send newsletters, and integration to pull in content from all your online services, including Twitter, Instagram, and SoundCloud. I use Banzoogle to create the Share the Knowledge podcast website, and that was very easy. Banzoogle plans start at just $8.29 a month and include your own free custom domain name. Now, if you want to try it out for free for 30 days, click on the link in the description box down below and be sure to use the promo code SHARE to get 15% off the first year of your subscription.